Hey guys, sup? This is activity four, past paper 2015, INGC CICT. So, activity four is about database. Is the piece of lemon squeeze here? So let's get into it. Freddy, Freddy has created a database to help him manage the hotels. Details of people who stay in the hotels are stored in the guest table. Task DB1. The structure of the guest table is this one. So we need to open the database file. It's this one. And uh, open the guest table. Opening the document, enter task DB1. Task uh, DB1, your name can end number, sent a number in the folder of the document. I trust that, that you know how to do that already, so I'm not going to show it. And then save the web project document as task DB1. Uh, so, so far, we didn't do nothing. We just opened the access file. Remember to always enable this security warning for your macros and uh, queries and stuff to work. And uh, open the guest uh, table. Become familiar with the table. Yeah. It's a standard, simple access table. So, what do we have to do? Uh, yeah, Frederick wants to add details of new guests to the guest table. Add these details to the table. Only have to do is add it. So, let me add it. You scroll all the way down to the table and you click on that new record. Alternatively, you can click on that little uh, star there that will create a new blank record. It's the same thing, yeah? So, uh, I prefer the easiest way, always. There you go, guys. I've entered all the information manually. Yeah, ID, mail, doctor, whatever, Ganganjit, and then his email, phone number, and then birth date. How do I know? it's a he and not a she is a male and not female a student asked me so if you look at the instruction it says his id his email so it's a male yeah now so the guest table you have to be very careful sorry i uh, have to be very careful not to mistype or uh, make a typing uh, mistake here because you lose marks so sort the guest table in ascending order of first name within ascending order of last name. Remember how we've done the Excel sorting? This is different. It works differently. So you might want to follow this order. So sort into ascending order of first name. So I'll sort with first name first and then last name within ascending order of last name. That will ensure that the last name is sorted first and then if a last name has starts with the same letter then the first name is sorted in ascending order so first name is sorted within uh, ascending order of the last name so first first name uh, second last name it's a bit different to the one we've done in uh, excel all right then come and paste the guest table and blah blah to copy the table and easy ways to just select that little arrow there right click copy so when you have a, a table you copy when you've got a form or a report uh, you print screen of course for the report it might also ask you to print it off because a report is meant to be an official document that can be printed off all right task db2 um, standard you're going to do that, guys, until it has to be a name candidate. Then Frederick Rick wants a list of guests whose title is doctor. So the list should on, uh, only show these fields. Yeah, to do that, we need to create a query. I find it easier to create a query. There is another way to use filters, but I prefer the query method, which is uh, faster. Yeah. Create query design get the table guest add it I don't need the program is here uh, is this one as well so what do we need we need the title definitely because that says it should be doctor yeah and uh, it says doctor yeah yeah so the list should only show the fields title first name last name so title first name last name 
uh, mobile and email. For the doctor, you might want to make sure if there is a dot there, you can open the table and check there's no dot, so I need to get rid of that dot, yeah? So, there you go. View your query, you're going to get a list of all the doctors. Uh, in that order, that's very important. You miss marks if it's not in the correct order. So, create a query, display the results of the queries I have done here, copy paste. Uh, resave the no print at this stage. Okay. Copy the results of your query into your Word file. So you're going to do right click, copy, uh, paste into your Word file. For example, it's a list of guests who were born between that date and this date. So the list should only show these fields. Again, it's easier to create a query. So I'll just go ahead and create a new query in design mode. I will add the guest table. We need uh, first name, last name, mobile, first name, last name, mobile, uh, birth date, birthday, and uh, that's it. Between that and that, that's very easy. It's already written for you. The criteria is already written for you. It's between that and that date. So you can just type here between. Let me make this bigger so you can see the whole command. 1st of January uh, 1955 and uh, 31st of December 1965. So 31st of 12, 1965. Yeah? yeah, there you go. When you hit tab or leave that field, uh, the hashtag symbol will automatically add it to your dates because dates must be uh, must use that uh, hash uh, tag symbol there you go that's it view you get all the people born between 1st of January and 31st of December 1965 yeah that's it there you go so is the PC lemon squeeze yeah display the results copy paste the results in your work file let's move on to task db3 Task tb3 again open the template using word processing software template use the template there you go all right and then it says enter task tb3 in your name blah blah yeah you're gonna do that guys i'm not gonna do it there's the template and uh further wants a, a, to add a table to the database to store the details of the manager of each quarter the file manager contains information to be stored in the table. Let's open the file manager. There you go. All right. And, uh, and manage. All right, your task is to design and create a new table. Design the structure of the table. And using the information in the manager file, complete the table in task DB3. Huh. So that should be in the word file here. All right, good. So this is text, 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 text. It can be number, text, and that's it. It's all text. So text, text, text text number text field length make it 100 because of course an enemy can be really big hotel name 50 should be enough employee code I think is 5 1 2 3 4 yeah make it 4 or 5 should be fine city 50 manager's name 50 uh, year manager started that's 4 uh, let digits here. Yeah. The key field obviously will be the AMP code. That's the employee code. It is unique and the reason of choice because it provides a unique uh, number for each 
right. That should be fine. And uh, what else is here? So design the structure in the service table, use information in the manager file. We did that data type of each field, the field size, the length of each field, the justification of your choice of data type for two fields. A notification of the key I've done. So it says here that we need to justify the choice of the data types for two fields. So back to the uh, template, we need to justify this for two fields. Hotel name. Yeah, how do you justify this now? Yeah, you can say that employee code, M um, code consists of of uh, four digits, four letters and uh, digits. So we have to use text and uh, hotel name is text and uh, wait, we need to justify the data type, not the uh, not the field size. So the employee code consists of both both letters and digits. So that should be text. And hotel name is text. That's it. Just to give for your choice of the key, we've done that. That's it. We save. Do not print at this stage. Use the structure you designed in part A to create the table in the database. So you can go create table design, uh, get the template, H name, H name, that is text, then uh, M code, that is your primary key, then uh, we've got city manager uh, year started that's a number and uh, email actually remember to adjust the field sizes here uh, 15 Oops. 50. Manager. Manager's name, 50, yeah. There you go. So, save the table as. Uh, what's the name of the table? Employee. There was a table to the studies of the ma uh, of the manager of each hotel. So, hotel manager. Remember that you should not have spaces in uh, names. Yeah, or if you want to use the standard naming conversion, is table manager, TBL manager. That would be better. Alright, uh, save the hotel, display the hotel, make sure the primary key is clearly identified and then take a screenshot of the design view. So that's the design view, employee is shown, take a screenshot, paste it in your work file. Create a data entry form for the hotel table, enter the data of the London Hotel from the file manager, display the form view of the data entry form. So we need to use a form now, so what you have to do is... Uh, select the table manager we just created and create a form that would be easy because if you do it automatically wait table manager is empty create a form all right guys it says here that we need to produce a form and then enter form for the hotel and so the data land on from the file manager and display the form view in the data entry form and make sure you can see all the data so when it says that you can see all the data and the whole form then the form uh, that we will create should be in, in, 
in a table format so we can see all the data we can enter all the data at once to do so we can use uh, the form wizard yeah so what table do we need the manager table we need all the fields we want it to be in a data sheet layout because that will help us get the uh, get the uh, at this is the form yeah so that will help us get the layout view data sheet view there you go that will help us enter all the data from the manager word file and it will allow us to see all the data so it says here uh, create a data entry form for the button display the form view of the data so the form view is this one form view yeah and uh, make sure you can see all the data and the whole form take a screenshot of the form so we need to take a form view or data sheet view that works too because that's the only way you can see all the data so you just copy the rest of the data here I've done that before the recording of the video that's why it's already there Hong Kong and the name Lee Chen two thousand two <coughs> and the mail address. Good. And then you can take a screenshot, yeah. Alright, that's it. Don't forget to take the screenshot. That should be it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.